Time and temperature are your best friends when you're barbecuing. Okay, anyways, Yo Kud here coming back at you with another exciting video. If you've been watching the videos prior to this one, you kind of saw me how I turned on the, a gas grill correctly, which is when you turn on your gas, gas grill, you just basically want to crack open the propane tank just slowly till you make one full turn. Then you can go ahead and start opening it up more. Then go ahead and turn your burners on, light your stove, and you're good to go. What happens is, is if you open up that propane tank too fast, the regulator will clamp down on the flow and kind of restrict it. So you might think you're out of propane, but you're not. Just go ahead and reclose it, wait about 15 minutes or 20 minutes or so, then try again where you're just slowly cracking it open. Anyways, I've got good flame action going on. I know it's kind of hard to find the right angle. There we go. It's kind of hard to find the right angle there to see the gas going, but this has been going now for about, I'd say about 30 minutes or so. And what I wanted to do is just do like a quick like temperature reading, temperature test. So I've got my handy dandy Thermo Pro. Right. You could also use a temp spike in there if you wanted to or some similar, some kind of similar device. I think uh, Chef IQ makes a good one as well that I've done videos on. Whatever floats your boat so you can see what's going on in real time You know, as you're cooking. I kind of tend to stick towards simpler is better sometimes, especially when it's 100 degrees here in Los Angeles and you just want to get in and out quick. So what I'm aiming for is somewhere around like 150 would be like a good medium rare to rareish. 150 to 160 would be like kind of medium rare to like almost medium so we're kind of trying to find different spots obviously i've got different thicknesses going on here and that's intentional party pleaser right you want to make sure you get some more medium or medium well kind of levels of doneness for the people that like their meat more cooked and then for the people that want their lamb a little more medium you've got that thickness and then the people that want their lamb medium rare to almost rare there's the thicker part for you so let's go ahead and just do a probe real quick so i'm at 134 there so it probably needs about another 10 minutes for this for this particular section this one right 150 so we're just touching on that medium rare kind of level right there almost medium and then this one definitely on the more rare to medium rare side. So what I'm gonna do is I know just from experience that I've got about another 10 more minutes left on this, right? Cooking it at 325 Fahrenheit or so. So for this last 10 minutes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower my grill heat down to more like a lowish setting. And here's where you're gonna get the flare ups, right? So fat side up, meat side down, all that fat was rendering down into the meat. For this last 10 minutes, I wanna lower the flame to reduce the flare-ups as much as possible. And now what I wanna do is I just wanna flip my meat onto the fat side down side. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. So I wanna keep this fat side down and just not directly on the heat, right? If the burner is right here, I'm just a little bit off of it still, but kinda of closer to it so that that fat can now crisp up, brown correctly get some caramelization of the fat. This is when the flare ups are gonna start happening. So once again, I'm just gonna close my lid and let this go for about another 10 minutes. I'll be back in 10 minutes with another video to show you the beautiful results of this beautiful lamb. Anyways, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down there below on the old coot. I did put some links to all the stuff that I use in these videos on my Amazon storefront. There'll be a link down below in the comments, also in the description, and some of the tools and toys that I use as well to cook, barbecue with, etc down there in the description section, also the comment section. And I'll be back. Check those out, and I'll be back shortly with another exciting video.